Hey guys, it's Bro Uwack, and Overwatch is trying to end the year off on a high note by giving us everything that we've ever wanted. We've gotten Overwatch Classic, we've gotten uh, Cat Girls, and what is probably going to be a future Catboy with the new Hero Hazard. Now some people might be confused, but I thought he was supposed to come out in Season 14. And what do you mean by cap? <laughs> Don't worry about that. I might have connections that uh, might make something like that happen. But Hazard actually released a little bit early for a playtest weekend. They do this with every single hero, but they are still scheduled to come out during season 14. And all of yesterday, I was playing nothing but Hazard streaming on my Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Burrywack, by the way. And after a full 24 hours of Hazard being out for Overwatch 2, I got one thing and one thing to say about this Scottish boy hero. I absolutely love love playing hazard this is the first tank in a while well this is just the first thing that we've gotten in a while in general but this is just a character that provides so much for a player that just wants to go that just wants to go fast and eat some i think you know the rest and look i'm not the only one sharing that sentiment but when the one thing that everyone is complaining about when it comes to this new hero is his name i think you got a pretty good hero on your hands people think he should be named freak people think he should have a different character character design, go into the original concept, they don't really vibe with his backstory, all things that ultimately don't really matter when it comes to the video game. But if I can speak for the people and ask for one request before he launches in season 14, can we please change his name from Hazard to Freak? Hazard is such a Buns name! Well, something that's not Buns is actually playing with the hero Hazard. And boy, oh boy, is he just a dream to control. He is just so much fun to play. Play. Now I realize not everyone shares that same sentiment, but I think a lot of the Overwatch community always tries to look at a new hero to see how they're going to be overpowered rather than how much fun they're going to be. And if you look at it from that perspective, first and foremost, seeing how fun Hazard is going to be, then Blizzard succeeded. This is a great hero to play with. Are there overpowered aspects about Hazard? I would say there's one aspect that I could definitely see getting nerfed upon his launch in Season 14, and that's with his Spike Guard ability. This just provides way too much utility. I mean, you can tank a full-on Junkrat Rip Tire. Not only that, but you can also fire homing crystals at the enemy. Like, it just provides too much utility for an ability that really doesn't take a lot of skill. And this is something that a lot of people will say, oh, this makes him broken, this makes him unkillable, and I don't doubt it. I could definitely see a nerf in the future where maybe they take more of the resource meter when you activate this ability or maybe they increase the goal down to two seconds or something B but if, if you need an answer to deal with hazard maybe you could just call upon a grandma sniper to take care of him <laughs> Anna counters him all you gotta do is play an Anna and as soon as he lunges at you anti him and he's a sitting duck yeah he might be blocking uh, but then that's also just when you sleep him and then you just all dogpile on him. you have to remember he's a tank he's supposed to be at the front line and he's absorbing all of this damage so having a block ability that only protects him and not so much his teammates is not that overpowered of an ability in my personal opinion, especially if you're able to easily counter him with a character that is still really popular with Ana. But then you might bring up the fact, okay, but what if they have a Kuriko and they just cleanse the anti? Well, at that point, you're just screwed. <laughs> and while I have other nitpicks, like his wall climbing is not very consistent. Oftentimes, I want to climb a wall and I'm holding down the jump button or I'm pressing the jump button and I don't stick to the wall. Hopefully, that could be taken care of during Season 14. But besides a possible name change, I would not mind if they left everything else alone when it comes to Hazard when Season 14 launches. But this whole entire time, I've been saying I love Hazard. I love playing Hazard. He's a lot of fun. But what exactly is fun about Hazard in case you haven't gotten your dirty little paws on the Scottish boy? Well, it's all in his mobility and this is something that is very underrated when it comes to just video games in general one of my favorite games of all time is spider-man for the playstation 4 and it's all because swinging in that game is so fluid and it just feels like i'm actually controlling spider-man so same thing when it comes to hazard or juno or venture a lot of high mobility characters were released in overwatch 2 recently and they've all been super fun characters to at least play go up against maybe less so especially in the case for adventure uh, but you cannot deny when controlling these characters it's a lot of fun to use them and with hazard you have the wall climbing which is still very inconsistent but you're still able to traverse high wall maps to be able to then lunge at the enemy and then you have a slice attack that's even more satisfying when you landed on a very low HP character it's like, oh it, just, it feels so good it feels like a Genji dash but with an actual good character <laughs> but the most overlooked part about hazards 
Legends Hero Kit is that every single ability feeds into a another ability that enhances that ability. The way that I've been controlling Hazard is that I always violent lunge to the enemy because I have to be up close to be able to use my bone spur. And then I shoot, 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 shoot until I have to reload. But I don't actually have to reload because that's when I use my spike guard ability to reload my gun. And if I haven't gotten a kill by that point with my homie missiles, I then just shoot, shoot, shoot some more. And by that point, I already have my violent leap cooldown activated again so that I can either continue the aggressiveness by pushing forward or I can hop back to my back line so my supports can heal me. And that's honestly the secret formula as to why Hazard is so satisfying to play is that it allows a good player that manages his cooldowns to have the maximization of DPS and mobility at your disposal to be able to just to kill some people, man. Sometimes I just want to go in and kill things and you really can do that with Hazard, but that comes at a cost unless you're Hazard because there is no cost unless you're just really bad or you're getting CC'd and slept and anti'd by Ana because you always have an escape plan. You can always get out of there. You're never a sitting duck unless you're really bad or the enemy team is just that good. But I haven't even gotten to the best part of Mei Main being able to use another character that has a wall ability. My spiky purpley boy the jagged wall is a lot of fun to play with. It's definitely an overlooked part about his hero kits but if you're a Mei Main you knew exactly how to properly utilize this wall. Just throw it behind the enemy and kind of trap them and with the poke damage oh it's just so satisfied to see the enemy squeal as they just get poked by this jagged wall ow but when Season 14 launches and we can finally play Hazard and Competitive, where is he going to be in the meta? Is he even going to be in the meta to begin with? The way that I view Hazard is probably one of the best aggressive dive tanks that provides a lot of forgiveness. Like if I could just make one comparison while simultaneously putting down all my Doomfist mains, Hazard is what Doomfist wishes he was. You have so much health at your disposal. You have a lot of armor. You also have a great hero kit that could provide protection or a lot of escape plans even if you're counted as hazard it's all right because you just got to play a little bit smart if you're counted with doomfist well i think we all know about the one trick doomfist memes anytime you see a doomfist get insta lock and they don't swap it's a gg you lose but with hazard it's not an automatic gg you lose well until they do bring out the on and if you don't have a kariko then you're kind of screwed uh, but if not you can have a lot of fun with hazard because he's gonna get a lot of kills and that is what i always say when it comes do overwatch the best way to win team fights is to get kills and boy hazard can get kills and live himself but let me know what you guys think about hazard if you're going to be maining hazard if you think he's broken under pouches let me know your honest opinions but until season 14 i love you guys thank you guys for watching more overwatch 2 videos to come and bye